Summer Starfish, it's Miss Michelle. I wanted to read a story this week that um, was full of alliteration because we're talking about sounds that start the same at the beginning and that's what alliteration means. And I found a favorite book of mine. But I notice, where's the title? It has lost the sleeve that protects it. Um, but the name of this story is about one of my favorite creatures, and it's called Some Smug Slug. So as I was starting to read this story, I realized I know what a slug is. You know, right? It's one of my favorite creatures. There's so many of them in the Pacific Northwest. And then I realized this word right here, smug. I don't really use that word very much. And I realized I'm not even sure I knew what it meant. So I wanted to make sure that I looked it up because that I was curious. So I looked it up and it means self-satisfied or highly satisfied and proud of something. So apparently that is a descriptor of this particular slug. So let's begin. This story was written by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Henry Cole. And remember, sometimes I have to look at the words and then I'll show you the picture. So just be patient and take a breath. Um, let's begin. Some smug slug. Oh my gosh. So here's the thing. I think slugs are so cool and so interesting. So like when they're just slithering along, they have their antenna up and they're like feeling their way. And then if you make a sound, they kind of like do this thing and they get shrink up really small and the antenna come in and they look like they could just be a rock or something. And then if you're really quiet and you just observe them and you watch, you'll notice pretty soon start sneaking out and they start feeling comfortable and checking out the world again. So if you ever happen upon a slug or a snail, just be really quiet and just watch it for a while because they are so cool. One summer day, oh, one summer Sunday, while strolling on soil with its antenna signaling a slug sensed a slope. So do you see it? It's got the antenna up. It sensed a slope. A slope means it's going to go down. Slowly, the slug started up the steep surface, stringing behind it, scribble sparkling like silk. Have you ever noticed that sparkling silk that is a, called a slug trail? And look. I think that is the creature that Miss Amanda found in her backyard. This one's a little different. This one looks like it's spotty, but remember that black salamander that she found? I think that's one too. Stop! screamed a sparrow, shattering the silence. Ooh, look, that startled him. He perked up. And there's the sparrow. Save him, shrieked a spider, scurrying down its strand. Ooh, look at the spider and its spindly legs. I like these pictures because they're realistic and they're close up. Silly, sighed a swallowtail, swooshing through the spice bush. What's a swallowtail? Do you remember when we were at Zoom and someone talked about a black and yellow butterfly? I wonder if it was a swallowtail. Ooh. Do you see the slug trail? I see something else that begins with a s snickered a skink as its sapphire tail swished. With a shrug of its shoulders on the slug sauntered, 
With a swagger, it slithered up the slant. Sometimes alliteration is hard to say. So this is a skink. And there's the slug. I see its trail. Show off, scolded a squirrel, storing nuts for the season. So sad, squealed a stink bug, shivering on a stem. Hmm, look closely, can you see this stink bug? I was trying to read it backwards, it's a little challenging. For one single second, in a sunbeam it slumbered. Its sleek skin was soft like a shun tug. Well, that's another word I might have to look up. I don't know what a shantung is. There it is, slumbering on the warm rocks. Seldom swerving or straggling or swaying or skewing, the smug slug shambled on. What do you see spying the slug? Do you know what that is? Oh, look, that's not a slug. What are those? Struggling up to the summit, the slimy slug smiled, a self-satisfied smile. I think that's called smug. Oh, but let's check out that smile. Look at that. Is that a smug smile? A smug slug smile? <laughs> okay, I'm going back because wait a second. Look at this guy's eyes. Look at his eyes. They're so cute. Well, in spite of sinister signs, it showed no suspicion. Hmm. So he's been crawling on those rocks the whole time. Did you notice? Until something shifted and shuddered and shook. That sly, slippery slope was simply a sham. I don't know, it looks a little bit scary to me. Yikes. Such a shock, such a shame. Such a succulent slug. Uh-oh, let's check that out. Such a shock. Such a shame. So he's right on the tip of his nose, kind of like another story we've read. And then, such a succulent slug. Where'd it go? Somewhere in this story, did you see a skunk? Did you see a snake? Did you see a salamander like the one Miss Amanda found? And did you happen to notice two snails spying on the slug? Also hidden in each picture is an S shape. Did you spot it? What word do you think was alliterative in my story? See you next time.